Hi, this is Kay from the Shabby Pink Cottage, and today we're going to decoupage furniture. I have a bureau here that's been sanded, primed, and base painted in just a, a linen white by Benjamin Moore. Um, the handles have been removed, and um, we are going to start with a granite faux finish. Okay, so I have my colors here. I have a redwood green, a woodland green, white, black, and a rose mist. And I've got a sea sponge. It's got a lot of texture on it. And we're just going to go over and start. Okay, let's go. Now when you do granite, you really just want to put a lot of water on your sponge and then rinse it out. It's a damp sponge. And we're going to just start patching here and there with a base color. This one we're using black. And it's just a random pattern. No particular way. We want some of the white to show through. And that's enough for right now. Okay? I'm going to add green to my sponge. And I'm going to put in some green patches in between the black patches. Very fast. Now, granite's a nice top to put on this particular kind of design. It really has an elegant look. That's pretty. How's that look, Jeff? Great. Great. Alrighty. I'm going to add a light green. And there. Same thing. Starting to fill in. This is a little thicker. And you want that. You want some things thick, some paint thick, some thin, transparent, just to give you a variation because granite has a lot of variation in it. It's a humid day, so I don't know how fast we'll dry. But there you go. I'm going to rinse my sponge. I'll be right back. And I don't want to forget the sides, so you want to do the same. On here, on the side. Okay. Add a little white. All right. And now we're going to start to fill in. I don't clean my brush every time, my sponge. And now I'm going to start playing with color. I'm going to put some here and there. I have a little bit of pink, and I'm going to add that in a few different places just to give me a little interest. Maybe I want a patch of black over here. So I'll do that. And you move your sponge. Give you some help. Work with it. Really doesn't take long to do. And what gives it its, its realistic look is when you put the final coat of sealer on. You want a high gloss sealer. And for this one, I will use a spray because it's quick. And I want to do it quick. And I'll just fill in here. Okay, great. That's a good base. I'm going to let that dry. Now we're going to go on to the full finish on the furniture. What I use for that is folk art, yellow ochre paint, and white paint. And we have those right here. Okay. And I'm going to put it right here. And we just put them in puddles in our tray because we want variations of color. That one there. And one more thing. To that, I'm going to add some polyurethane, some polyacrylic. This is by Minwax. Usually when you faux finish, you use a glaze. I've got some in this container. But a glaze takes a long time to dry. It has open time. It takes a long time. This, using the seal coat, will give me my first coat of sealer. And it will glaze down my paint. So it's not as solid as we have up the top. 
and take off my day cloth. And it's very easy. We're going to do something called the stippling. So we just dip in the brush. Go over to our piece. I like to start at the top and work diagonally. And you can see we have variations of color. I want a little lighter. I'll dip it in the light. And it's really just a pouncing motion. To break it up a bit and give it a little texture, I'm going to take some paper towel, make a small rosette, and just pounce. And this is called ragging off. This is very small. I should get a bigger one, don't you think? Maybe. Take a bell. That one right there. Oh, good. The sun is coming out, so we're going to dry quick. I like to do an X motion. It's a small patch. And pounce. This looks called keeping a wet edge. We're going to work with this area here so it doesn't dry and give us a line. We want to. Now to take this banana, put it on. And work with it until it looks pretty. Right, Jeff? Mm. And you can see it has a very cloudy appearance. And it's the perfect background for this romantic print that we're using because it has some gold in it. If I were using a print that didn't have gold, I would maybe lighten it up a bit. Use a tan or a taupe. Move over here, babe. And you can see it's very fast. We had some holes here we filled in because the hardware that came with this bureau was not pretty. I picked it up at a flea market yesterday. And it was 35. We offered 28. And they were happy to sell it to us. We're happy to get it, right, Jeff? Hmm. Now this has a flat, flat front, which is what you'd like to decoupage. The more bumps you have, the more work you need to do. Okay. So when we're do, doing fine art decoupage, you want a dresser that has a nice flat front, like this. And you can see, with this, we can pretty much hide imperfection. You really can't see that that has had a hole that's been filled there. And there'll be so much going on that any imperfection that your piece does have just adds to the interest. You don't want it to be perfect. It's very shabby. And tap, tap, tap. And I think that's good. Great. Okay, so that's done. Now the top should be dry. We're going to put another coat of granite. We take our sponge again. We have our paint. I'm going to add a little white this time. And it's just a tapping motion. Going in. I'm very happy with how it looks. And you play with it until you like it. Okay. 
Now I want to show you a little trick. Scent stone has different variations. And we do have a base coat down. Here we go. Let's start right here. This is isopurinol, rubbing alcohol. You just put a bit on. The paint separates and it will show you the layer underneath. So here we go. And you just flick it. You could use the bottom of a of a paintbrush. And you'll see that separate. And it's very pretty. It's hard to see in the camera. But trust me, you can try it. You just do a layer of dry paint and a layer of wet paint, a few sprinkles of the rubbing alcohol, and you get a really nice effect. Now, like all faux finishes, you just play with this until you like it. And if you don't like it, you just wait, add some more paint. And I think that's good for now. Much as we just wipe those off, it's no problem. It's a lot of base paint. And that's it. Okay, we're finished with the full finish. We'll let that dry, and then we'll go on to our decoupage.